Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here with Armada Red Alert and his mini comp partner Long Arm. The science comparison in vehicle mode. Here we are again with Cybertron Deluxe Red Alert, same character, different uh, design. And here we are with Revenge of the Fallen slash Nest Global Alliance Battle Ops Bumblebee, who I'll be reviewing later on. Being an Armada figure, Red Alert is mostly controlled by his mini con interaction gimmicks. So, for example, plugging Long Arm onto this port on the hood here makes the doors spring open automatically because of a button inside the minicon peg that is pushed down by the yeah, pin in the middle of the minicon port on long arm. Push it in and the bonnet springs open. If I were to pull long arm back, it would fire a steering wheel shaped projectile disc out, but I'm not gonna do that too you know accurately for fear of losing the disc, so I'll just catch the disc as it comes out to show you what it looks like. And back in it goes. As you heard, there are sound effects for this figure when it applies its Minicon gimmicks. If I attach one arm to the light bar Minicon port up top here, then you can launch one of two Minicon gimmicks from this single port. First, pulling backwards and a blaster comes out. Pulling backwards repeatedly for more sound effects. There's a spring loaded missile inside this blaster, which is fired by this black tab here. This missile turns into a capture claw to grab minicons so the Decepticons can't. Then if I push him forward on the light bar port, he says his name and does a siren noise. So, before transforming Red Alert, to transform Long Arm, just fold the cab like so, and he's done. Being a minicon, Long Arm has very limited articulation. Just upward and downward shoulders, knee bend due to transformation, and a slight forward hip movement that means he may be able to sit down on tidal waves, uh, minicon seems, is what I would say if it weren't for this massive green crane backpack overhanging him. The crane turret can move 360 degrees, extend, and reach pretty far I must say. Just straighten his legs out. Minicons are not the best at balancing, so you may end up using the yeah, and crane arm folded in half as a tripod to keep him balanced in robot mode sometimes. So, moving on to Red Alert's transformation. What you want to do first is Open up these side panels here, long nails required. Now thing what you want to do first is open the doors and then the back panels. Because we're all locked into each other. Then crack these open. There's another mini con attachment port and a fold out ramp or well it's not actually a ramp it's more of a yeah computer screen assembly set up here then what you want to do next is fold the waist down then bring the windscreen out and fold the backpack down locking into place with this groove here and this tab here, lock all that into place, bring the robot head up and rotate it around 180 degrees, use these 
double hinges to lock it in position. Then fold down the feet. Rotate the legs at 180 degrees below the knee. And bring out the heel spurs. Remove one of these two translated red pieces here from this door panel. Then close both door panels to become leg kibble. Split the legs. Rotate the car doors like so, so they're pointing like this. Fold the arms down and unfold the elbows. And attach this piece here to Red Alert's left arm. Red Alert actually lost his left hand in a sword fight with Starscream prior to the start of the Armada series, which is why he uses it for his medical prosthetic equipment instead. Because in Transformers Armada, Starscream had a sword that came out of his wing. Then, then unfolded and glowed like a red lightsaber. So, as you can see, here is Red Alert and Long Arm in their robot mounts. For size comparison. And here we have Cybertron and Armada Red Alert together, as seen in my Cybertron Red Alert review previously. So, for articulation, Red Alert has a 360 degree swivel of the neck, and he can slightly extend his neck on a stem due to transformation. Most of his head is made of clear and red plastic, so since it's pretty sunny outside today, you can see how his light piping works. Then he also has 360 degree ratcheted shoulders with a backwards motion for transformation. Then also wear outward movement like so. Rotation of the bicep and a pretty stiff double hinge at the elbow. Nothing in the waist due to transformation. Very restricted, slightly ball joint like universal hips. Very deep knee bend, swivel below the knee, and a forward ankle tilt for transformation. There's also a ratchet joint on the leg kibble so it can maintain its position with the knee bend. So, the gimmicks in robot mode if I turn one arm back into a vehicle pretty quick. You can still use the exact same gimmicks as before. Only now, the gun is a shoulder mounted launcher which can also disengage from the spring loaded mechanism and be held in his right hand as a handgun like he was in the anime. Whoops. So, that concludes my review of Transformers Armada Red Alert with Long Arm. Join me next time when I review Transformers 2010 Revenge of the Fallen Battle of Stumblebee. Till then, till all are one.